Welcome to No Nonsense Airbnb. In this video, I will show you how to use Airbnb phone app as a host. And the first thing I want to show you when you start using the phone app is the most important setting, which is when you click on profile and you scroll down, you will see switch to hosting and manage experiences. This is the most important setting and it confuses a lot of people because the same Airbnb app can be used for traveling and for hosting or to manage experiences. And you can sometimes land in the traveling area and you won't find your listing related settings and that confuses a lot of people. So anytime you see the screen isn't showing your listings and everything else you expect to see as a host, just come to profile, scroll down to the bottom and you will see this switch to hosting. As soon as you click on that, it will do switch to hosting and you will be able to see all your bookings and everything. Now let's move on. The first thing you can do is the calendar. Calendar, when you click on it, it will open up the calendar of your property and then you can click on it. That will open up the calendar itself and then you can do a lot of things with that. You can just click on the cog wheel on the top right and that will open this pricing and availability option. Under pricing, you can do a lot of things. For example, if you just want to change the price of a night, you can simply click on here and type in the new price which you want to set and click on save. The next is smart pricing option. You can turn smart pricing on or off if you want. I've recorded a video previously of how smart pricing works. I will leave a link to that video in the description if you want to understand what smart pricing is and how it works. The next section is the discount. This is where you can set weekly and monthly discounts or if you want to set a specific discount for a custom length or things like that. The last one is the promotions discount. This is where you can run promotions for certain dates. And it's pretty easy, all these things, when you do that, you can just select the dates which you want to set the promotions for, and it will automatically apply the promotion for those specific dates. For example, let's choose 6th to 9th. You can click on select dates, and then you can set a discount by scrolling it up and down, and just click on apply promotions. And straight after that, the new reduced price will be visible on your listing. Let's move on. The next is additional charges. This is where you can set the extra fee on your property. For example, the cleaning fee, or if you're charging a pet fee, you can do that. Or if there is an extra guest fee you want to charge on Airbnb, you can just simply click on here, enter the amount. You can enter the number of guests. So if you set it to two, up to two guests will be able to stay in your nightly base price. But any other amount which you mention here, Airbnb will charge based on the count of the guest. Per guest, it will charge this extra amount per night. So it's pretty simple and straightforward. And the last one is the additional fee. If you have any management fee, community fee, or linen fee, or resort fee, that kind of stuff, you can just mention it here. Let's just go back again into the main menu. I will go into availability tab now. In availability, you can set the minimum night and maximum night stay for your property. Or if you want to apply a custom trip length, which, is, which means you can apply your own set of logic for certain dates, you want to have a minimum night of X and the other dates you want to have a minimum night of Y. You can do that in the custom trip length. Next is availability. If you want the property to be available for the same night, you can do so by choosing same day. To have at least one day's advance notice, you can just click on least at least one day and things like that. So depending on what you want, you can just simply select these options here. The next is preparation time. This is where you can mention the preparation time. For example, if you need one day in between bookings to prepare the property and get things in place, you can just choose one night before and after each reservation and click save. Airbnb after that will block one night after each booking to give you that gap and prepare for the next guest. Next is the availability window. You can just click on this and you can choose how far in advance you want your calendar to be available for people to book. A very common question people ask is, I want to rent only sometimes, how do I do that? The trick you can use to do that is mark it as default. You can just choose the last option, dates unavailable by default. That will block all the dates in your calendar. Once you've done that, you can just go back into the calendar and open just those specific nights which you want to rent it for. 
And the last option under availability is more availability settings. This is where you can restrict check-in and check-out days. For example, if you don't want anybody to check in or check out on Sunday, you will just mark the Sunday here and Sunday there and just save. After that, Airbnb will make sure you never receive a booking which allows a check-in or check-out on Sunday and things like that. So you can use it to your advantage. And the last option here is connect calendars. The two options, the first one is connect to another website. If you want to list your property on VRBO, you would want to sync your calendar with VRBO. You can do so here. Just by clicking on this, you will be able to copy the URL of your iCal calendar, which is your Airbnb calendar. You can simply import it into VRBO and VRBO in exchange will give you their calendar URL, which you can just bring in and paste it here. After that, your calendars will be in sync. The last option here is connect multiple Airbnb listings. This option is for people who want to rent their individual rooms in the property as well as they want to rent the entire property as well and they want to block the calendars if someone books a room and all that. You can do so very easily. I have done a previous video on this explaining how you can rent multiple rooms on Airbnb. I will leave a link for that in the description below if you want to check that out. Let's come out of this screen now. Now coming back to calendar, blocking the dates and changing the price is super easy. You can just simply drag and drop the dates which you want to change the price for. And then you can just click on this edit button and change the price of those selected dates. If you just want to block the dates, you can just click on this option and it will block those dates. And then if you want to open it again, you can just click on open nights let's go into the listings tab this is where you will be able to change all the settings about your property for example you can add photos if you want when you click on rooms and spaces you can just go in there and add spaces to your property and add beds to them for example if you have a one bedroom you can just change the bed type in there by clicking on it and just keep scrolling down you will see all the spaces in your property and keep adding beds to them and you can also assign pictures to each space in your property. All these options are self-explanatory, so I won't go in and try and explain each and everything these screens allow you to do. But let's just move on. The next option is the categories. You can just view the category your property is assigned to. But now Airbnb has come up with a way with which you can request them to change the category. If you think your property is not appearing in the right category, you can raise a request. I will leave a link to that video in the description below if you want to check that out. Let's go back. And over here, the next option here is the title. If you want to change the title of your property, just click on that and you can type in the name. There is another option called internal name here. So if you are like me, you have multiple properties. And sometimes if you struggle to understand which property an inquiry is for, you can assign an internal name, which is only visible to you, but nobody else. And for this, you will need to enable professional tools from your accounts area. Otherwise, by default, internal name option doesn't appear. Next is a description. Simple as that. You can just click on it and add a description to your property. Amenities is another section where you can mark all the things you have in your property for people to use. It's a long list. Airbnb keeps adding more and more stuff to this. So try and stay on top of your amenities. The next is the location. This is where you can see the location of your property, address, and all those things. Let's move on to the next section, which is the booking settings here. The first option here is how guests can book. If you want to turn instant booking off, you can just simply flick this button. If you want to turn it on, you can do that as well. And along with instant book, you can mark this option as well, which means only people with a good track record who have traveled on Airbnb before and have positive remarks from the previous host will be able to book your property. Everyone else will still have to send you a booking request. Guest requirements is another option where you can just say where you can mark things like they need to have a profile photo to book your property. Let's move on. House rules. This is where you can define your own house rules and things like that. Just make sure to mark confirm page after you have done the change. And next is cancellation policy. This is where you can mark the kind of cancellation policy you want to apply for your property. I try and keep moderate or non-refundable for my properties, but it's up to you what you want to do. There is another section Airbnb has added at the bottom, which is for long-term stays. You can either choose a firm 
or strict cancellation for long-term stays. I won't go into the detail of trying to explain what these cancellation policies are. That is for a separate video. Let's go back now. And the last section on this screen is the local laws and the regulations. This is where you will find any information about the local laws on short-term rentals in your area. And regulations is again, if you need a license to list your property, you can enter your license here. This is where the license information goes. And the last option under management is the status. This is the status of your listing. If you want to snooze your Airbnb listing or unlist it or deactivate it, you can do so from here. Deactivation technically means it will just delete your listing permanently and you won't be able to recover it. Unlist is if you want to temporarily take it off and want to come back and later on publish it again. Snooze is just snooze, which technically means it will be unpublished for a certain duration and automatically come back once that period is over. And the last option here is the co-host tab. This is where you can add a co-host to your property. It's fairly simple. You just click on add a co-host and invite them by their email. Let's go back. Before we wrap up this video, I want to show you where you can add your payout details as a host. So just click on menu option here and then click on settings. This will land you into your settings page. Click on payments and payouts. And this is where you will be able to add your payout method as a host. And if you want to enter a payment method for travelers, this is where you can do that. This is the end of this video. I wanted to keep this video very short and crisp. I hope you find this video useful. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you would like me to make a video about something which is troubling you. Until next time, bye-bye.